Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a Minecraft server with inside of a virtual machine and we're going to be using Asia to do this. Now what are the benefits to running it in uh, Microsoft Asia? One thing is the costs are up to you and you can scale up your hardware as well as scaling up other things such as your, uh, you know, your physical drives as well as scaling up your security as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump straight into this tutorial and we're going to start off by heading to the Microsoft Asia, Asia site. Now if you're a student they give you 100 credits free and for the purpose of this video we're going to be using that. So we'll go ahead and press start free uh, on the Microsoft Asia. Just search up Asia to get that and it's going to ask you to sign in. So you sign into your account and verify that you have a student address and it kind of looks something similar to this. It'll be an educational address that will be provided to you. We'll go ahead and move on to using an existing subscription because we've already got one. And we'll start off is you'll be brought to a page like this. Now don't worry about this. It does look a bit confusing, but I'll explain uh, some of these things that means in, the, in just a moment. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and create our virtual machine. That's going to run our Minecraft server. That's going to allow us to be able to uh, actually let, let them, the server run in the background. Now, where I am, it costs me about two pound fifty or two pound forty uh, UK pounds. That's around about five dollars a day for me to run the server. So we'll go ahead and press create a resource. You'll be brought to this page, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and turn up uh, that virtual machine. It's on the top left corner. Uh, if you can't find it on here, it's always underneath the uh, categories on the left here. Probably be under compute if most likely to be. So go ahead and press create. So we'll do that now and you'll be brought to this page. And as I am a student, I've got a student plan so I can press uh, the student uh, Asia for students. But don't worry about this uh, field for now. Uh, we'll go through everything. Don't worry about it. So where it says virtual machine name, we're going to go again and give it a name. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to go ahead and call it MC server server just like that and as you can see now that you've inputted it in here it's also going ahead and uh, put a, a name up here as well so you don't have to worry about that so we'll move down now to the region now for me the only thing available in this category here is under uh, UK South so try and select the one that's closest to you under you know the so West US 2 it depends which plan you're on. If you're paying for your server, then uh, you can use any of these ones and it should be fine. But for me, because I'm using a student plan, the only one that's available to me is Europe, uh, UK South. So we'll go ahead and leave that as that. Now availability options, uh, we're going to go ahead and put it as availability zone. I'm going to go ahead and press that zone one. So security, we want standard. Uh, again, it's all up to you if you want more uh, security on your virtual machine. You can choose these options if you required. But we'll move on. Under the image, we are going to go ahead and select Ubuntu server 20.4 uh, LTS. There's many reasons uh, you could use a win uh, Windows to run your server if you wanted to. However, uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using Ubuntu. I am currently running Ubuntu at the present moment in time. But I'm going to be showing you how to do it in a virtual machine. So we'll go ahead and set that as our uh, image. Once you've done that, we can move down to where it says administrator account. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set password. While we've got our password, we're going to go ahead uh, under username. We can go ahead and set this to something like, uh, I don't know, we'll set it to uh, something like MC server uh, 2022. Just, for, just for, the, for the sake of this video. And password, uh, we can go as one, two, three, four, five. Uh, or so you need a so you need a letter. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just type a simple password in as, as the word password for the purpose of this video. P A S S W R password. Password one. Why not? Two, three. Password one, two, three. Okay. Password one, two, three. 
Have I got that wrong? Yes, I have. Let me just get myself a proper thing. So password one, two, three. Password one, two, three. It says it must be 12, uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Okay, there we go. Password one, two, three, four. Okay. So now what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and underneath allow site reports, we're going to go ahead and uh, tick these boxes. And that's just going to allow us to um, do some stuff later on. So we'll leave, leave them ticked. And next we'll go ahead and move on to uh, disks. So press next. Now under here we can go ahead and choose the OS disk type. So you can use standard which is best for web servers, lightly used enterprise applications and dev test. For the purpose of this video we will leave it as premium SSD. However you could go for a hard drive if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and move on. And the next thing we're going to do is underneath disk, uh, so data disk for MC server. We'll go ahead and uh, press create and attach a new disk. So we'll go ahead and do this. Now, since we're only running a Minecraft server, we don't want there to be much storage on our virtual machine. So you'll probably be fine if you press change size. You'll probably be fine by selecting uh, something like 32 gigabytes. It's, it's more than enough for what we're uh, trying to do here. So we'll press OK. That's also going to help to keep the cost down as well, because then you're not going to have uh, uh, you know paying for loads of storage. So. As I said, because I'm on a student plan, I get 100 credits free. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, press OK on this. So OK, there we go. And right there, here on this page, the important thing we're going to have to do here is underneath host catching. We'll go ahead and press that to read slash write. It's an important thing we need to do, so we'll do that. So we'll go ahead and press next to networking. Now in this tab here, uh, it says we uh, need to do ahead and set a new so NIC network group security group. We're going to go ahead and first of all under Minecraft server IP, we're going to go ahead and set that as uh, public IP. We're going to press create new. And that's going to come up over here on the right side of the screen. I'm going to give this a name and it's, this is just going to be simply uh, as uh, connect to server. Connect to server server just as simple as that connect to server and under here what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and press ok and that's going to go ahead and get rid of that little error that we had that's only because i have something named the same uh it shouldn't be if, it, if it's just like this it says new next to it then that's fine we'll leave that uh, as is but we'll move on to the next thing. We we'll go ahead and we'll press next to management. Everything should be fine in here. So we'll go ahead and press next again to advanced. And we'll go ahead and press next again. We don't need to change anything if it's not needed. So we'll go ahead and press next again. And now we're going to the review and create page. So if you've set, uh, followed the instructions of this video uh, correctly, it will give you an estimation of how much it would cost an hour to run. So that's about just over 10p an hour. It's 11p an hour for me to run that server. So that's pretty, uh, pretty, you know, it's, that's, that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we will uh, press the create button at the bottom left of the screen here. And once that's done, you'll be brought back to uh, a page here. Just go ahead and let it do it. And this is going to go ahead and deploy it to the cloud. So you successfully made a virtual machine and that is now inside of the cloud and it has a bunch of you loaded onto it, which is an operating system. And that's our image. That's the, uh, the virtual machine is going to run. Now, I believe you can also get 200 free credits or you can get some free credits just by signing up to Microsoft Asia. So I will have all these links down below and you can follow them on there. So when this is deployed, it says deployment in progress. Once this is deployed, we will begin uh, to connect to our server. So there we go. We go ahead and press go to resource now. It should pop up right there. And this is our virtual machine. Now the question is, is how do we connect to our virtual machine? Well, this is where uh, things get really, really, really cool, so to speak. 
So if you're on Windows, the process is very, very similar, except you all you have to do is go to command prompt. Uh, no, so no, you go to PowerShell. If you open up PowerShell, and once you've opened up PowerShell, you want to uh, continue on from this video from there. So if you're a Linux user, which was what we're going to be doing using today, if you press the Windows key or the command key, whatever, and you type in terminal, again, if you're on Windows here, you want to type in PowerShell. That's going to bring yourself up this uh, little you know, control panel. Now, how do we connect to the server? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to type in SSH. And then we're going to go ahead and type in uh, our name for our server that we called it. To find this, you want to go to the connect page up here. Go to SSH. And just under here, you have your name here, MC Server 2022. So we can go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and bring this up and we'll do MC Server 2022. And I think I did I have a capital in that? No, I did not. So we can go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have an at symbol. And then we're going to type in our IP address that we just uh, got from uh, from here. It's on this page. It's also on the main page as well if you need to find that. And we'll go ahead and press enter. And then we'll go ahead and type in yes. And now this is going to be permanently added, added to the thing. So we can go ahead and type in the password, which is going to be our password we set before. So we can do password1234. Enter. Now don't worry if it does not show up. Uh, that is for security reasons, it will not show up. But now we've just connected to our virtual machine. Congratulations if you made this, this video so far. Uh, we'll continue on though. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in sudo apt update. And that's just going to go ahead and install any updates that the system needs. It's going to get out of the system, you know, to its most current version that we need. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and make a uh, folder for it uh, for our Minecraft server. So we're going to go ahead and do mkdr for make directory. And then we go ahead and type in the name. So we'll do Minecraft craft test server. Test server. Just as an example. And then we can go ahead and type in ls. And that's just going to show us what folders are within our virtual machine or where we're looking at. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type in cd um, minecraft server or minecraft minecraft test server whatever you named it test server just like that. Once you've done this, we can go ahead and install Java because that is something that's been needed when you are running Minecraft, of course. So I'm going to provide this link in the description, but we'll go ahead and just follow exactly what we're doing here. So we go ahead and uh, come down to this page. And what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this link here. Um, oops, sorry, it might take you to a different site. Uh, don't worry about that. It is uh, just what it's going to do. And I don't think I can show that, so I'm going to get off that. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Um, give me a second here. We're going to go ahead and install the install the Oracle J Java JDK. There we go. So we'll press copy that. Um, go ahead and just give us a second here. Again, it's going to try and take us to a different site, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go back, because we don't want to do that. Of course, uh, we'll go ahead and... I've got it up here in the, in the search bar. There we go. Let's try it again, sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this link here under number two. What should we label number two? Okay, it's gonna try and take us to a different page. That's fine. That's just some ads, ads on the site. We'll go ahead and press copy. Now we can go back to our terminal. And what we can do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and put a terminal next to our uh, website here. And that way we can just go ahead and do stuff on it. So let's begin. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy this link. And we're going to go ahead and paste it into here. And it's we get and it's the link to the Java version. And make sure it says 17 because Minecraft will not work on any higher. So we'll go ahead and press enter. That's going to go ahead and install, uh, download our Java. 
we can go ahead and continue on from that. Install the Oracle version. So we'll press that. Copy. Again, it's going to try and take us off the site. That's fine. We can go back down to it. Press copy again. And we'll go ahead and paste that in one more time. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and press yes. Uh, y for yes. There we go. And that's going to go ahead and install it into our, uh, you know, our version of Linux that we're running here. Once that's done, we can go ahead and move down again to number three. And we'll just go ahead and let the system know that we're running that version of uh, Java, basically. So what I can do now is, again, scroll down to the, that number three. And we'll just go ahead and paste that in. There we go. And that's obviously always the newest version, so that's fine. And then what we can do now is we can set, set it to the default version. So we know that, so the system will, will use this version of Java. It won't try and use any different versions that we've got installed. And if it's got an error, that is fine. Uh, and we'll go ahead and just check the version of Java by doing this. Uh, last command, Java dash dash version. And if it says uh, the version 17, then we've done it right. Yeah, so we, there we go. So open GDK, something like that. So what we need to do now is we need to type in sudo apt install open JDK. And then we're going to do dash 17 dash jre jre dash headless h e a D L E S S and that should install if it does not install then that is fine what we're going to do now is we're going to do sudo apt update and let's just go ahead and make sure the system's up to date it's downloaded those files it's got all those files registered into the system and that's really good uh, that's what we wanted to happen here so moving on from that Next thing we need to do is we need to install a Minecraft server. So let's make our way over to MC server. Dot com. Uh, if you type in MC servers, it should, it should come up. Minecraft server versions the versions. There we go. Minecraft server versions. There we go. Go ahead and click on this link. And we'll go ahead and choose the, the stable release and the latest version for us. Press download. And under server jar, we're going to right click and press copy link address. Now what we're going to do now is making sure that we are in the Minecraft directory below here. We're going to go ahead and type in we get. I'm going to go ahead and paste our link in here. Just like that. And that's going to go ahead and make sure that Minecraft is installed. So. Our Minecraft version is installed, that's great. You know, that's 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 all, all good and working now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that um, we can run the server in the background. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type in sudo apt install. We're going to type in a program called byobu. And that's going to go ahead and install as you can see it has installed so we can go ahead and just do sudo update uh so apt update sorry apt update whenever you try and install something it's best to update it just to see if it's you know there's no updates for it or anything so that's fine we'll leave that there so that's our minecraft set up so for now so what we need to do now is we need to launch our minecraft so that it can generate all of the files that are needed. So we'll go ahead and go back into our terminal. And what we're going to do now is we're going to type in Java. I'm going to type in dash. Let me think, let me think. So we need to do Java. Dash. X, M, X. 6000, M dash xms 4000m 
And then we're going to do jar. And we can do um, server dot jar. Uh, I'll do a dash before the jar, sorry. So dash jar server dot jar. Yep. And then we can do no GUI. Okay. Do you mind if I'm installed with... Okay, so, so what we need to just do is we need to make sure that we get this version installed. So we need to do... Again, we want Java 17, so we're just going to copy, copy this command here. I did do this command, but it didn't uh, It didn't allow me to before. But let's try and copy that and paste it again. Okay, there we go. And do yes to that. Okay, so let's try that again. And once it's downloaded this Java version... Uh, should should do it now. So yeah, you want to do that command, which uh, it should come up on the thing for you. So we'll go ahead and do the same command we just did before, and now that should run Minecraft uh, like the server, but it should uh, it should back out because yeah, there we go. So we get this command that says you need to agree to the EU life in order to run the server. So how are we going to do that? We're going to be using a program called FTP. Uh, in other shorts, no, it's another name, but it's FileZilla. FileZilla. Now you can download this by just simply searching up FileZilla. Uh, once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open it up. So FileZilla. Just like that. And you'll be brought to this program. What we can do now is we can go to File, Site Manager, and we can go ahead and add a new site. The host is going to be the. Uh, Username that we had. Oh, so no, so it's the IP address. So we can go ahead and get our IP address again. Again, the IP address is displayed here. So we can go ahead and copy that. And what we can do now is make sure this is this is set to uh, the SSH file transfer protocol. Right. We can go ahead and press paste. And then under user, we can do our uh, username. So that would be, in this case, would be MC server, MC server 2022. And the password is going to be password, password 1234. And now if you go ahead and press connect to the bottom here and press always trust, okay. And we can see our virtual machine. So we go inside of our Minecraft test server we can see the ULI text. So we will go ahead and click it and we right click and we press view and edit. We can go ahead and go into the ULI and what we're going to do now is going to change it from false to true. True. And then we can go ahead and press save. Should be control S if you're on a Windows. We'll go ahead and close out of that. And we go ahead and press yes to delete the local file. So. Minecraft setup now, that should be good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and run that command once again. So uh, there is another version, there is another command you can use here. Uh, but what we're going to do now is to make sure that this is all running fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to start the server and we're going to stop it again. So we're going to start it and it's going to load up all the files from Minecraft that's needed. Again, this is inside of a virtual machine at the present moment in time. So go ahead and let that run. And once it's generated the world, we'll stop the world. And we will uh, going to go ahead and put it inside of the background of the virtual machine. Because we don't want it to be, you know, we want to be able to install other things whilst we're using that virtual machine. And, and we want, you don't want to be locked onto this, like, uh, log file, basically. So go ahead and let that uh, run. And once it's completely generating all the, all the files that's needed for Minecraft, we can go ahead and uh, stop it. So go ahead and let that, uh, again, we'll let that run in the background there. And it shouldn't take too long to do. It will. It will eventually uh, do itself. So 
So if we go ahead and if we close out of our server or if we refresh this, we can see that we have got the files loaded in. Look, world's been loaded in. Right clicking and pressing refresh to do that. We can close out our server for the time being. We don't need to be on that for the time being. There we go, that's going to go ahead and it's nearly there. It's at 46%, 57%, 70% and we should have the server started. At the present moment of time, like I said, it's it, it's not accessible at the present moment of time, but we're going to make it accessible. But what we can do now is we can go ahead and press stop. And let's just go ahead and save everything. We've generated all the files we need now. And now what we want to do is run it in the background of the virtual machine. So to do that, what we're going to do now is we're going to type in B-Y-O-B-U. And that's going to go ahead and launch this. What we can do now is we can press F3. And that's going to create a new window. And in this window, we can now do the command that we had before. So if we go ahead and do Java. And making sure that you are, of course, in the directory of the Minecraft servers folder. We do Java. Uh, dash x m x and we do 6000 m and then dash x m s 4000 m and then we can do dash jar and then we can do the uh, server dot jar because that's the name of the file and we do no gui no GUI, just like that. And now we can go ahead and press run. I also start the Minecraft server in the background. The great thing about using BY, uh, uh, BYOBU is the fact that it will run in the background of the, of the server. And when you start your virtual machine up, it will run everything. Like it's still keeping that running in the background of, of, your, of your virtual machine. So let that run. Uh, it should load up the world again. Now, if you press F2, you can see that we're just on a command line now. And if I was to uh, go ahead and type in LS, we can tell that uh, we can get all the server files. We can do anything. We can even do sudo apt update. You know, and that's going to go ahead and update everything that's it. If we need to run updates on our server, let's say we needed to upgrade it. You know, there's a new version of Linux out, so forth. You could do it through a different terminal. But if we press F3 again, we're back into the server. And we can have that open in the background. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, the benefit of doing this is you can actually view your Minecraft server through uh, your mobile phone. So let's go ahead and get started by uh, how do we access our Minecraft server? So let's go ahead and make our way back to our homepage. Right, let's go ahead and press our Minecraft server, which we have go ahead and named it as... MPC, uh, MC server 2022, aren't we? So we can go ahead and we can go back to our, you know, our, our server. So we can do that. Go to resource. There we go. Now, how do we actually, you know, how do we connect to our server? So what we're going to do now is go and press networking. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and press add a inbound port rule. And what we're going to do now is underneath the destination port ranges. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to type in 255.65. Right. Under source, we can leave as any. We can leave destination as any. We can leave that uh, service as custom. And we're going to set that as TP, uh, TCP. Allow priority, we're going to set it as 100. And with name, we can just call this as connect to Minecraft rule. Just something as simple as that. And what we can do now is we can go ahead and press add. The next thing we need to do now is create a public IP address in which players can run uh, join the server to. So what we're going to do now is click our network. Uh, our Minecraft server, which is up here. And what we can do now is underneath IP configurations. 
we can go ahead and do IP port forwarding enabled. And what we can do now is under IP config, first of all, we're going to press save up here. So let that save. It will take a second to save. Underneath at here, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to simply press create new. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and press uh, static. And we're going to press standard. Oh no, sorry. You give it a name. So this will be um, public, public IP address. Just something as simple as that. Basic, static, okay. And that is going to be our IP address to connect to. So we've, we've gone ahead and named it as a new public IP address. We can name that as static just by pressing that. And we go ahead and press save. Once that's gone ahead and loaded, we might get an error. That's fine. What we need to do in this case then is create a new one and change it to standard and press OK. And then with, because it's already got a name, go ahead and press public IP address 2. There we go. OK. And then we can go ahead and press save. Once that's gone ahead and, you know, registered there. And we should get given an IP address. 51, uh, 142-248-212. So if we go to Minecraft now. And we launch up Minecraft. And we go ahead and launch the latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.18.2. And we go ahead and add a server. And we type in IP address. We should have a connection onto our server. We'll leave that a second to load. And we should be good. So go ahead and press multiplayer, add server, and we tap that IP address in, which is 51.142.248.212. Go and press OK. And there we go. We have a Minecraft server, and you can now connect to your Minecraft server. And you can do whatever you want to do with that Minecraft server, and it will run in the background. And that's what's cool about it. So just to show you that it's working, we will be loading into the server momentarily. So giving it a second now. We are in the server. And if we go ahead and we press F2, so F3, inside of here. One second. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, we need to go back into BU, so we need to go BY. Yes, yeah, so we need to do F3. One of these has got the server on it, but anyway. Just to show you that it works, so it's running fine. We can go ahead and walk. Now, it is lagging, but that's because I am running... Uh, this is my normal desktop that I'm running at. If you see, I'm running at like 8 FPS at the moment. That's because I'm recording at the same time, but I promise you the server is running fine. It is just my FPS uh, that is causing me to run this slow. If I uh, lower the resolution resolution down, down to three trunks, you'll see that we'll have more of a smoother gameplay. But again, I'm running off of a laptop here at the present moment in time. I'm not on my main desktop, so that is the reason why it is slow. But the actual server runs fine. There's no issues with it. You see it's rendering in the chunks fine. And it runs nice and smooth. So we'll go ahead and we will close that. And we can go ahead and exit Minecraft now. I'm just going to go over one more thing for you. Close terminal. We can do that now. Let's say I wanted to work out how much cost the server is going to make. So if we go back to our homepage. 
And this is also where you would go ahead and control your virtual machine. You can see by the icons, they look like monitors. Those are virtual machines. So if we go ahead and we do uh, click on one of these, and I think this is the one I've just done. Uh, let's have a look at the IP address. No, that's the one I, uh, I'm, I've got up, up, up before. So if we click on our, our actual one, which is my MC server, we can go ahead and we can do control it from here. So we can stop it. We can capture it, which is cool. Uh, there's a lot we can do with this actual, you know, operating system because it's a virtual machine. It's not running, you know, it's running in the cloud. You've got, now got a Minecraft server that's running in the cloud. You can also get uh, install things like uh, security. You can get free data uh, DDoS protection with Azure. But how would I uh, work out costs? So let's go ahead and we'll go to the. Where are we going to go to? I would say so. We're going to go down to the. We we'll go up to the home page again. And what we can do now is we can go to cost management. If you don't find it, just search up cost management at the top here. It'll come up. And just under here, if we go to uh, cost analysis, which is here, or the overview, sorry, the overview, we go to cost analysis. And then we can go ahead and turn it to, give it a second here. It will take a second to load. Okay, emulated cost. If we go ahead and do it to daily cost, and you can see, this is where you'll be able to see how much it would cost daily to run those servers. So, giving it a second here. It's obviously loading all the data. It is loading in real time off the virtual machines, which is quite impressive. But well, as you can see, you can tell you how much cost it is. So. The container uh, is costing us that much, you know, you know, virtual machine, 52p, storage, it's six pence. You know, it's costing us about £2.45 a day, which is about roughly about $4 uh, dollars a day. So it's really up to you. It's, it's really up to like, what you're, you're, you're willing to pay and what, you know, what your, what your budget is and what, you know, what you're willi ultimately willing to wanting to pay. Now, as again, I am on uh, I've got 100 free credits, so it's costing me nothing to run this, but uh, it will eventually cost that. Just, just wearing, uh, bearing in mind that, uh, but it won't charge you using billing. If you don't have a payment plan set up, they will not charge you to that uh, payment plan. So we'll go ahead and we will uh, end the video here. So thank you for watching. If you did like, and you do want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any problems, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Ryan, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.